So I'm starting with my Bare Minerals Prime Time in the neutralizing shade and I'm just applying that all over my skin. And then for foundation, I'm using two shades of the L'Oreal True Match foundation. This is the old formula. I think it's changed, but I loved the old formula, so I don't know. But I'm just mixing two shades together to create a nice, perfected base. I'm then going to move on to eyebrows, so I'm using the Benefit Cabrow in the shade 3 and I'm just filling my eyebrows in as I normally would, just literally filling those little pencil eyebrows in um, and then just brushing them through just literally how I always fill my eyebrows in. I do have a whole routine on my channel if you're interested, it is up on my YouTube channel but I love the Benefit Cabrow for my brows. And then I'm going to add some red into my brows. So I'm taking this BH Cosmetics Take Me To Brazil palette. I'm just taking the red and starting to apply that through the brows just to add like a reddy pinky tone to my eyebrows and just to help pull the whole red look together. Then I'm priming my eyelids using my MAC Painterly Paint Pot as always and I'm just using my finger to apply this all over the eyelid. And then I'm taking the Morphe 35O palette and I'm just taking this light bony kind of shade. It's more on the white side, but I'm just applying this all over the lid up until the brow bone to act as a base. And then I'm going in with a Sigma E40 brush with this orangey toned shade and I'm just using this as a transition shade just so there was a little bit of warmth and a little bit of a neutral color in the look. And then I'm taking this deep burnt orangey shade and I'm just doing the same thing but focusing this a little bit more in the crease and then blowing it out. And as you can see, I'm bringing it right into the inner corner as well. Going back into the Take Me To Brazil palette, I'm just using the red shade once again on a more precise blending brush and I'm just really buffing this into the crease. And then I'm taking it down onto my entire eyelid and just using buffing and swiping motions as I go along. Then I'm going into this BH Cosmetics Day and Night palette and I'm just taking this deep red just to deepen up the look. It's more of like a real true blood red. So I'm just using my finger to pat this all over the eyelid and I just feel like this added so much more pigment to the look. And then just took my MAC 217 brush once again and made sure that all the edges were blended. Then I'm going in with my Rimmel Scandalize Coal Pencil in black. This is my favorite eyeliner. It's waterproof and it doesn't budge. And I'm just tight lining and then I'm going to do a thin line along my upper lash line just to add some definition and make the lash band of my false eyelashes appear less noticeable. And I just used a flat definer brush to smudge the edges of that. Here I'm just curling my eyelashes with the Ardell Lash Curler and I'm applying a coat of my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara as per usual. And the falsies I'm using today are the EXO Beauty The Wild one I believe that is super fanned out cat eye lashes and they're just absolutely beautiful. Back onto the face, I'm taking the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer, just applying this underneath the eyes in a triangular shape and then applying some right down the center of my face just to highlight. And I'm going to take the Real Techniques Sculpting Brush just to press this into my skin. I'm not really swiping, I'm mainly pressing so I don't disturb any of the product. And then to just set that concealer in place, I'm using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Light Plus. Then to carve out my cheekbones, I'm using NARS Laguna from this NARS palette that I've got on a Sigma brush and I'm just carving underneath my cheekbones and up to my temples. I'm not applying any product at all to the 
part of my forehead where we're going to put the card because there's absolutely no point, we're just going to wipe it off. So just apply it to the side where you're not going to have the card. And then I decided to take some more of the red just on a angled brush, it's more of a fluffy brush, and just add this to where the contour is just to give it more of a kind of red look. I just wanted everything to be more red toned. And then taking this middle blush shade from ABH Cosmetics 10 color blush palette, I believe it's 10 colors, um, I'm just applying that to my cheeks and then highlighting using the Gerard Cosmetics Star Powder in Grace. So this is beautiful, I love this so much. Just applying it to the tops of my cheekbones and then a bit down the center of my face. And then moving back into the eyes, I'm taking the deep red again from the Take Me To Brazil palette and I'm just buffing this really messily and taking it quite low under my lower lash line. And then taking that deeper red from the Day and Night palette and using a more precise blending brush just to apply this as well. Then I decided to take some matte black just to add a bit more definition. I felt like there wasn't enough because it, the whole look was just red. So I took this in the outer corner underneath the lower lash line and then right into the crease. And I love the way this turned out. I think this would actually be a really pretty eyeshadow look in general, not for Halloween. <laughs> then just going back in with the E40 brush I used earlier and blending. And then I do take another blending brush that is completely clean and I just blended all of the edges just to make sure everything was nice and tidy. Then just using the same black liner in my waterline, I created a kind of smokier eye. And then I applied some lower lash mascara to complete the eye look. For the lips, I lined them first using a Rimmel lip liner. The name will be listed down below. I just outlined my entire lips and made them look quite rounded at the cupid's bow, kind of in a heart shape. And then I just used a NYX black label round lipstick, I think they're called. Um, it's in the shade Hero and just filled my lips in. Now for the fun part, I'm taking Bioderma on a cotton round and just clearing off any makeup from that area and then using some Isocol. You just want to use any astringent. This is just 99% isopropyl alcohol, so it just dries up any oil that's on the skin. Then I'm going in with some Meron liquid latex in the flesh tone, and you just want to build this up in small layers. So just start with really thin layers on your sponge and just press it into the area where you need it. And then I pulled a tissue apart so it was only one ply and then started to apply some onto my forehead just to add as kind of like skin has crumpled kind of thing. So if you had something sharp like the card in your head, it would have kind of crumpled your skin. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that was what I sort of envisioned. So just apply as much or as little tissue as you want and then you do want to take a piece that you've rolled up into a little snake kind of piece if that makes any sense. So just how I'm doing now, you want to do that, cover it with liquid latex and then I applied another piece just above it so that was acting as the opening of my skin or of my wound. Then I just took a small pair of scissors and cut right in between where those two pieces of curled up tissue are just so that I have somewhere to put the card into my fake skin. So be very careful and just cut along the latex. You want to pull it up so you're not anywhere near your skin. And then I'm just measuring out my card that I've obviously cut the corner off. You just want to make sure that it fits into that hole and you can cut it as you need it. Now that I've got the card in, I'm just using some foundation just so that the liquid latex blends into my foundation nice and seamlessly. And then I decided I didn't need that piece there, so I just cut it off and pulled it off. But you just really want to play around with the liquid latex and try and get a feel for it and just work with it. You know, it takes a bit of practice and a bit of working with. This was my first time using it. Then I'm taking the Mayron, um blood, I think it's the congealed blood, and I'm just applying this where the card is entering into the skin. So I applied a, quite a bit and it actually dripped down, which ended up looking really cool. It looked like it was actually truly bleeding down my face. 
but I just use my fingers to sort of move the blood around and apply more where I wanted it. Um, as you can see, I'm just applying some more kind of like in splatters around the card. And then I decided to take it down onto my cheekbone, onto that side. So just using your fingers, you can use a Q-tip. Um, just play around and see what works for you and where you want to place the blood. Then moving on to the heart piece on the chest, I'm applying a thin layer of liquid latex once again. Um, actually, I apply a couple of layers. And then you want to do the same thing with a piece of tissue. You want to roll it up so that you have a little snake. And then you want to start sticking it down and making it into a heart shape. It's actually very easy. It might look a little bit hard, but it is so easy. So just shape it as you're sticking it down and I actually needed two pieces of, of tissue so I'm just here adding the second piece and yeah it's actually really simple to be honest. And then you just want to apply another layer of liquid latex over the top being careful not to press too hard um, and just pressing down so that you don't disturb the tissue. Then I just used some lash glue to apply these little hearts that I got from a craft store. Um, and I just applied them along my collarbones just to add some more hearts to the look. And now I'm going in with a dark burgundy lip crayon. So I'm filling in the entire heart just so that it looks like proper blood when I put the stage blood over the top. I'm taking the red eyeshadow and just pressing this down just to set everything and using it around where the tissue is just to make it look irritated. And then I'm taking the dark purple to act as more of like an irritated, bruised kind of look around the heart. Then just taking some more blood, I'm just piling that on in where the heart is. So as I said before, this is the congealed blood that I'm applying first. And I'm just building up a nice thick layer of that. And then I'm taking some stage blood, which is very, very runny. So. This is more of a thin, runny consistency and I'm just pretty much squeezing this over the top just so it looks like kind of a drippy blood. And that completes this look. I just popped in a red eye contact into one eye and I feel like it really added to the look. And I just applied some blood to my hands so that it looked extra creepy and that was it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one.